All right, another question on YouTube from Just Curious. Do you think autopilot is viable in a hybrid environment with SCCM co-management enabled and hybrid AD with only one-way sync back to local AD? Uh, so the hybrid autopilot scenarios requires a second connector to request the offline domain objects. You can't just have the AD connect, that connector is not enough. You, you need the intune connector also for that. And as we mentioned many, many times in this uh, office hours, uh, <clears throat> hybrid Azure AD join in combination with Redon's autopilot is downright painful to deal with. Um, we did publish uh, a few resources. Uh, I made a, like a collection of stuff that I found useful when I started to to work with it. Um, so uh, this one, we're happy to share in the links that we share afterwards, but um, it is a royal pain, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I think in my experience um, or my opinion, uh, you know, if you want to go hybrid um, or co-managed, more appropriately, starting with autopilot and rolling into Intune as well as installing the config manager client, that's fairly straightforward and I think pretty viable still today in, in a lot of organizations. But um, of course, I think you'll hear, um, it, it can't always be done, but I think you'll hear most of us say, just try to avoid hybrid as much as possible, at least when it as it relates to the device object in Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. I mean, if you absolutely must have hybrid for whatever reason, um, it's, for example, easier to start up in the local Active Directory on your network mm -hmm. and then have that object being created in Azure AD. That's a simple configuration. It's, it's, it's hybrid in combination with this that makes it complicated because we're assuming that we have a machine out on the internet that cannot see Active Directory at the moment. So we have to go through all sorts of hoops to do that, those connections, the source synchronizations, install a VPN and clients, have them connect automatically and, and try to do that in a timely fashion. And uh, that, that's hard. Uh, yeah. Yep. Definitely. Um, uh, we have some resources here on the Academy. We had Richard Hicks coming in a few times uh, to do a, a community version of Always on VPN. Uh, he covers a lot of those complexities uh, in that session. So if you want to do, like deep dive in, uh, by all means, uh, we have two recordings of this one available. The one he did this summer, one from earlier this year. And this is also a free course, so maybe start there.